Um, hi, Bhavika and AJ. Thank you so much for helping with my project. Could you say a little bit about yourself? Okay, yeah, myself, Ajay Vilicha, uh, born and brought up in Mumbai. Uh, so, uh, what I do to live is I'm an event organizer working with a uh, media.net software services. It's an advertising technology company. Uh, I've been working there since past two, two and a half years. Uh, we got recently married, like in the month of February. Uh, passion wise, I love photography and uh, I love gaming. So, yeah. These are the couple of things which I would like to highlight about myself. Moving on to Bhavika. Uh, so my name is uh, Bhavika Bhatia and I am uh, working with Bizongo for Inside Seeds currently. And uh, in my passions, I like baking and I like moving and meeting new people. I like seeing new places. And since we got married, we're in lockdown. So yeah, there's nothing more interesting in it. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. I know it's it's been like a, what a, a six month honeymoon. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but working from home and working for home both happen yes. simultaneously. <laughs> uh, so, what kind of games do you like to play on the computer? Uh, so I don't play it on computers. Either it's on PlayStation or it's on phone. Okay, um, but my favorites are FIFA. Uh, NBA, then cricket, sports, mostly sports, then fun-wise it's GTA, WWE. And uh, what kind of photography do you like to do? So photography I've done is uh, portraits, then uh, pre-wedding shoots, nature. So, I've been to a lot of nature trails. Uh, so the photographer for your wedding, I guess you gave him a uh, a lot of um, uh, advice and direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we did. And uh, Bhavika, what what kind of things do you like to bake? You said you like to bake. Um, so recently, uh, like I started baking cupcakes, cakes in the lockdown. <laughs> We've been making red velvet cakes or uh, dust truffle cakes, cupcakes, moose cakes. These are the kind of cakes that I have been baking uh, since like three, four months now. She makes chocolates also. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. Wow, goodness. I, I, uh, I'm looking forward to visiting you all, but I, I know I'm going to gain like five or 10 pounds by the time I'm, I'm, I'm done. It sounds too yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I've already put on. Uh, so, so you know the, the, the challenge. Uh, it's like, um, yeah. So, uh, did y'all know that uh, NASA was planning to send people back to the moon in 2024? No, I had no idea about this. Like, I have heard stories around people saying soon, uh, you know, they are setting up a place for humans at moon also, and there's a limited space. And years back, there were stories rolling around uh, saying that few celebrities have already, you know, uh, like, blocked some space for themselves to stay on moon. But I don't know whether it was true or not. So it, it's just like a dream. Yeah. But, but uh, um, I guess uh, which celebrities uh, had done this that you hear about? Uh, so I, that point of time, I heard about Shah Rukh Khan and some, you know, uh, like these uh, entrepreneurs, big entrepreneurs. I don't remember the name, but these were like years back. Hmm. And what do you all think about it? Um, do you all think, uh, you know, eventually we can uh, have humanity expand beyond the earth? Or do you think that's just sort of kind of like an unrealistic thing and we're, we're just stuck here on earth? Like, what, uh, what do you think? I'm in, I'm in a mixed of opinion that wise. I think it would work uh, because in the ongoing situation, there's so much of technology. And if this was done uh, many years back, so I think in 2024, they will be able to make it. But obviously, we don't know what is there in the future. But I mean, like uh, several hundred years from now, do you think uh, y'all would have, like your children's 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 would, would be um, growing up on the moon or Mars or places like that? Or do you think we would still be on Earth just kind of... Yes. <laughs> After 100 years, maybe possible. 
Yeah, it's amazing how much has changed in the past uh, 100 yes, years. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, and like, it's been called... years, NASA has done research about not only moon, but other planets. Hmm. So I am sure they must be having a, a concrete data and understanding of it. And hence, they are uh, having this mission. And, um, you know, if you just think about the past 40 years, uh, I mean, used to this call would be impossible to have. I mean, it would be voice only. Yeah, I, true. Yeah, people would say, are, are, uh, in Hindi, we call it, are, pagal bana rahe. Love, you're making fool out of us. You're just having fun around with us. Oh, what do you mean? No, oh, no, so... Uh, if you tell so, people about it in the past. To answer your question, like if, uh, say, 20 years before, mm -hmm. okay, if you ask anyone in India, people would ask this question, people would be like, yeah, you're making fool out of us. What are you even trying to ask? Oh, but now, exactly. So, yeah, but now the situation is completely different. And uh, future, I would say, is unpredictable. It is definitely possible and an organization like NASA is not stupid to, you know, uh, spend so much on the n number of researches which they are conducting each and every day passing by. So I'm sure they must have some concrete data about it. And it, it's possible. I, I would say it's possible. But maybe after, like, like you said, maybe uh, after hundreds of years, but I'm not expecting any time before maybe 40, 50 years. And uh, last year, um, I, you know, the Indian Space Agency sent a probe to the moon uh, with a lander. Uh, have, you all, yeah. have you heard about that? Yes, yes. We followed that complete story. And what do you think about it? Uh, so... Um, it was yeah, really a proud moment for India, uh, having even like it, it gave me a goosebumps when I, I was all stuck all over the news. But yes, next day, uh, we were disheartened a bit. But then like it, it was mixed kind of emotions wherein we were happy also and proud also. Okay, yeah, this is what we have done because most of the goal of the missions were achieved. Exactly. Not hundred percent, but most of the goals were achieved. Yeah, like ninety percent of them. And there were photos. Them. There were photos uh, rolling around throughout the world, as a you know proof that Chandran has at least reached over there. Yes. They lost contact and they couldn't like call it back. They couldn't get the uh, get more data what they expected to do. But I am sure they would be able to do it next time. We've almost reached ninety-eight percent. It's just two percent we are away. We might just do it next. But it it was a brilliant step which happened. Like very good. And also, India is planning to send astronauts into space at some point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What What have you heard about this? So, uh, not heard about this, but then uh, here and there while reading stories, uh, I have I have come across wherein. Uh, like Indian government is also working on with NASA on this project wherein uh, and also like uh, they have already started uh, paying people a lot of money uh, just to you know make them practice how things work uh, over there at like different planets so they are giving a lot of money to people also practicing it and they are, you know, practicing how would they survive for more number of days because people have gone to the moon also previously, but uh, uh, couldn't like, you know, stay back for a longer period of time and couldn't collect the uh, resourceful information, what was expected of them. But yes, this is definitely possible. Now, uh, we're currently all in lockdown because of this COVID-19 thing. And we were just talking before this about, uh, you know, some some thoughts that uh, maybe uh, it was like a, an attempt to like reduce the population and things like that. I was wondering, uh, you know, there's some people that think there's too many people on Earth and that we have to reduce the number of people. And um, 
this leads to things like war and conflict and um, you know racism and nationalism and a whole bunch of things like that. And I was just wondering, um, you know, it seems to me that you know, the earth is so small compared to the rest of the solar system and the rest of the universe. You know, there's like so much space uh, every yes. place. It's like, um, and so many resources. And, and also if you look at a city like Tokyo compared to a city like Mumbai, um, yeah. it seems like you're able to still support a lot of people in a small place. You know, yes. I mean, um, and I, I was just wondering what you thought about that. If, if a lot of people in Mumbai uh, the people you interact with, if they feel like there's too many people, or if it's not enough development, I mean, like, what's the what's the uh, feeling? Yes, Mumbai is for sure densely populated. Uh, yeah, that has been an issue. But uh, when it comes to serving or uh, mankind, then uh, we all must act. Now it's not the time to you know waste natural resources. Now it's the time to save it. And because we are already running short of it, there's a there's a, there has been a shortage. Uh, we are lucky to you know uh, staying in a place uh, like a very good city. So we get it. But there are people who literally work hard or they suffer, and still they don't get it. Whether it's electricity, whether it's water there has been a shortage uh, if, if i talk about overall india at least so yeah if, if there would have been a system wherein uh, it could be utilized equally and the system could have been such you know suppose suppose if uh, say mumbai requires for example 100 liters of water so we government should have agendas wherein Mumbai only get 100 liters of water. It's people who have to exist in those 100 liters of water. So that other people also get it. It's not fair just because we live in a good city. We get, you know, uh, more, more advantages in terms of people are suffering out of it. So yeah, this is kind of unfair. And if we could discover a place, uh, another place on the planet, then it would be really wonderful. And um, if it was safe and affordable, would y'all go into space? Uh, sorry, I didn't get your question. Um, if it was safe and affordable, uh, would you go on a trip to space? Uh, yes. If it was space, uh, sorry, safe and affordable, I wouldn't mind going and exploring a new place for sure. Same here. No. That's so awesome. Um, so I really appreciate y'all's time. I know it's quite late there. Is there anything that y'all wanted to talk about that we didn't get to? Anything? No, nothing from my end. I don't know about it. So I just wanted to understand uh, when we collect all this data and we get to know what people have to uh, say about these things and how people are reacting on these things. Uh, so, w what has been the outcome of it until now? Uh, so far, I would say that the majority of people I've talked to did not know that we were going to the moon. It's not surprising that's true in India uh, and in the UK, where I've actually interviewed several people from. Uh, but it is surprising that that's also true here in the US as well. Most people do not know that NASA is going to the moon in 2024. Uh, in terms of whether or not it's a good idea or not, I would say majority of people are supportive of it, uh, with some people raising concerns about, um, is it really the right thing for us to be focused on, especially when we have so much poverty and climate issues and now the COVID-19 situation. And then other people also brought up, uh, kind of a very few people, but a uh, noticeable number that you know, we need to be careful not to mess up space. Uh, you know, we've messed yeah. up the earth. Why mess that's up? That's really important. That's really important. And then about people willing to go to space, uh, the vast majority of people are willing to go, but there's been a su few surprising exceptions where um, some people uh, um, 
uh, you know, uh, people who are afraid of flying on planes, for example, it makes sense that they wouldn't want to go to space. That would be a, a lot, lot more challenging uh, situation. Um, but um, so that's been pretty much the result so far. Nice, yeah, nice. But uh, no, so uh, like, what are the what are the ways and people reacting when you're reaching out to them? You know, and asking them, uh, okay, I want to interview uh, about this mission. So, what are the reactions you're getting from people? Well, you know, my original plan was to interview everybody in person and to mainly interview strangers, like at the coffee shop or at the store or at the airport okay. or at the bus. Like and the what situation. Yeah, and now I've had to like plan it. Now, in those times, my challenge was how to sound like I'm not selling something or trying to scam something because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it sounds very um, questionable. Why are you wanting yeah, to interview yeah. me? That type of thing. Um, but uh, people's uh, reaction have been generally supportive. You know, they're like, uh, sure, I'd be happy to talk to you. There's been some people that no, no way, uh, you know, so that's kind of okay. the situation. So how many people are you interviewing in a day? Only one. One per day till the end of 2024. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So I have like uh, 1,600 and like three more days to go. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, so, and when did you start interviewing people? I started in December. So I've interviewed about uh, 235 people so far. Oh, from where do you get people? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know the population is really huge, but still. Uh, you know, you just, you have lots of people on Facebook and you have lots of people on Twitter and you have lots of people on LinkedIn. So you reach out to them individually. Uh, and collectively too. I, I was able to get um, a mention in uh, like a news article. So that got me some people. Oh, wow. And then I have some family and friends that don't want to be interviewed, but they've been uh, getting all their family and friends to sign up so <laughs> nice nice i can also give you uh, my friends contact numbers that would be uh, fantastic or, yeah so you can maybe interview it to bhavika she can give it to you that would be great yeah i actually have a a, a page that gives a little description of the project and it has okay. a calendar on it that okay. shows so you, you the day you can share that link with me okay uh, i love so forward it to my friends and uh, ask them, okay, this is what it's happening. Give little information about it and you can reach out to them. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. We'll do so. Okay. Well, I'll let y'all go and uh, thank you all so much and we should talk again soon. Sure, sure. Bye. Okay. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, Bhavika. Good luck for your project. All the best. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.